Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is January the 20th, 2021. And today my topic is um, 338. Um, The ironic thing is, okay, so this would have (laughs) happened. So, um... I woke up this morning. Now, I could have swore I woke up at maybe like 1 or something. But at some point, I woke up, I looked at the time, I Googled the time that I saw, and then I closed my eyes again. Um, Because I was like, okay, I'll look at it where it says when I get up at 4. Because <laughs> I thought it said 1. But obviously, I put in 3. Um, So, I don't know if I actually woke up at 1 or if I woke up at 3. But either way... um. What I Googled was 3.38. So, um, but anyway. So, I woke up this morning at the sound of my alarm. And um, I don't remember much about the transition. I don't know if I woke up and didn't feel like waking up. I don't know. Um, I don't remember that at this moment. But um, I'm in here. I'm bright-eyed and bushing tail and everything like that. I did not work out with the Faith Fit app. I know. I know. I'm like slacking. This week, <laughs> I'm slipping and I'm slacking. I know, and I'm sorry, um, you know, that I don't have a workout to report for today. Um, I guess I just spent time reflecting this morning. Um, I, I just spent some time reflecting on, you know, things I've been hearing, um, the whole Thing that centers around today and the inauguration and all the things um, that is centered around this date. And I mean, to be honest, I, I, I mean, the first word that came to my mind just now was struggle, but I don't know if I was struggling. Um, I was, I think when I came in here, I kind of had an idea like, okay, I, I'm going to tell the people that I'm like, whatever, whatever. Okay. Long story short, I'm somebody that is pretty neutral about things. You know what I mean? I, I and, and not just neutral in the aspect that I just accept everything, but when it comes to certain things, it's like I can... You know, look at both sides of the spectrum and then, you know, see, you know, air, you know. Um, so I may not lean this way in, uh, this time and lean another way another time, you know. Um, and I guess it's kind of, uh, maybe that was a defense mechanism of mine throughout my life to be like, you know, just always prepared either way, you know, uh, whether something happens good or bad. Um, I was mentally prepared for both outcomes, basically. Um throughout my life that's the way I've been however I would say uh, all right Lord if you want me to get that deep Mm -hmm. (laughs) basically um so when it came comes to this situation uh and the inauguration and the voting and all the stuff right um politics all the all the stuff that's going on right now um if you listen to both sides which I mean we all know that one side is being censored so you might not be able to hear the other side. <laughs> but um, if you do have the chance to listen to both sides, you're going to hear totally different accounts of what is going to take place today. Um, and then let's not even count in. Well, well no, let's count in the spiritual aspect <laughs> of everything as well. Um, so that's when it comes to God, sex, and love and me and my opinions about everything, I kind of focus more so on that because at the end of the day I don't when it comes to God it's like and and I'm I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect you know what I mean like this this is a process to trust God in all things um so (laughs) you know what I mean um and I think that's where I am right now I'm just in that place of being like you know what regardless I'm going to trust God I'm going to pray for his will not my will not what I think because I got some ideas of what I think should happen today. And I got some ideas of what I would hope that happens today. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm praying for that God's will be done regardless. That's my prayer, you know. And so, and what, you know, and so whatever that looks like. If it looks different than what I think it should be, 
so be it. You know, if it looks exactly like how I think it's going to be, so be it. I, I mean, you know, it's not up to me and my, my idea of what is taking place in this world right now. Um, uh, and that, again, this is something I, I've come up to in my adult life. You know what I mean? You know, my, my, my this is what my 35th year, you know, by the time August comes, this will be my 35th year, you know, on earth. <laughs> and so, um, you know, this is something that is learned, you know, this is something that is, uh, I've matured to get this mindset, you know, um, and everything like that. So, I say all that to say, like, yeah, I can sit here and tell you guys my opinions, and I can sit here and tell you guys, you know, why this side is wrong or why that side is wrong or whatever, you know what I mean? But and at the end of the day, I just more so want to focus on trusting God, allowing him to do whatever he wants to do in this season, whatever that looks like, and just pray that I do what I'm supposed to do in this season, <laughs> you know, and regardless of whatever it looks like. And so... um, yeah, so I guess when I came in here, I was thinking like, oh, you know, well, maybe I'll just say like my general thought about how I think it's going to go based on the way things have been going. Um, every time like a date has been put out there and it's been hyped up and then it's been like, oh, you know what I mean? Um, but at the end of the day, it's not up to me. I don't know. I, I'm gonna, I'll am i be honest and say, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, could, I could sit here and say, well, based on before, it seems like, you know, um, well, anyway, however, instead of going there, <laughs> at least not here in the podcast, who knows, if I feel led to talk about it afterwards, cool, but um, as of right now, um, I'm just sharing with you all this process for this morning. <laughs> So, as I came in here and was reflecting on everything and thinking about that and also just, you know, pretty much, I guess, listening, you know, listening, uh, listening to perhaps what God wants to share with me, whatever. Um, you know, of course, I was reminded that, oh, yeah, let me take a look at these verses. So, when I looked at... Uh, well, when I Googled 338, uh, one of the first verses that stood out to me was Lamentations 338. Um, before I get into that, just a reminder, because I can't, I feel like I might have shared this definition before, but in the case I didn't, Lamentations is a passionate expression of grief or sorrow, weeping. So Lamentations 3 and 38 is what stood out to me. So I went to go to the Bible app and I went to, you know, read, read Lamentations 3 and 38. And, um, now, the interesting thing is sometimes when I read a verse and it seems like it's midway into a statement, um, I tend to go and read before it and, you know, just make sure I understand what's going on and then get to the verse, you know, um, but as I was reading it, or as I was doing that, I started to kind of just take a look at the entire Lamentations 3. Um, so that's the go deeper today. If you guys, you know, want to take the time to go deeper, um, I suggest that you all read Lamentations 3 in its entirety. But I'm going to share with you guys uh, a good chunk of Lamentations 3. Um, because, I mean... Well, I kind of feel led to do so. Um, as I was reading it, you know, this is what stood out to me to do today. And um, and I found it interesting. Honestly, like I said, when I was reading it, I was like, this is a lot of verses. <laughs> and then I was trying to think, like, how I was going to do it. Because at first I was like, oh, okay, I'll just read it from the app. But then I'm like, wait, I usually use this phone <laughs> to record. <laughs> Oh, whatever. And then I used the other phone to record on the podcast. So it was like, <laughs> um, <laughs> so how am I going to do it? Because then, you know, I, I, if I go away from one of the screens, something might stop recording. Um, so then I, of course, have to go and write it down like I usually do, uh, which is good. Actually, it, it helped me get another perspective by writing these verses down uh, and a clear perspective of of uh, not only Lamentations 3 and 38, but, um, you know, some verses before it and uh, um, after. So 
I'm going to share them with you. I hope that this encourages you and inspires you for today and um, gives us all something to think about as we approach this day of January the 20th, 2021. <laughs> all right, so here we go, friends. Lamentations 3. Um, I'm going to start at verse 19. And now I'll tell, tell y'all what verse we end on later because I don't want you to tune out on me because y'all like, oh, this going to be doing. Okay, so here we go. Lamentation, Lamentations 3 and 19, starting here, says, Remembering mine afflictions and my misery, the wormwood and the gall, my soul hath them still in remembrance and is humbled in me. This I recall to my mind, therefore, I, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is my, excuse me, the Lord is good unto them that wait for him in the soul that seeketh him. Uh, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good that a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. He sitteth alone and keepeth silence because he hath it borne upon him. He putteth his mouth in the dust if so, be there may be hope. He giveth his cheek to him that smiteth him. He is filled full with reproach. For the Lord will not cast off forever. But though he cause grief, yet will be, excuse me, or yet will be have compassion according to the multitudes of his mercies. For he doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men to crush under his feet all the prisoners of the earth, to turn aside the right of a man, of man before the face of the Most High, to subvert a man in his cause the Lord approveth not. Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commandeth it not? Out of the mouth of the Most High proceedeth not evil and good? Uh, that was verse 38. <laughs> so I'm going to continue with a couple more verses. Uh, Wherefore doeth or doth a here we go. <laughs> Doth a a living <laughs> Doth a living man complain a man for the punishment of his sins? Let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord. So I actually read to you guys Lamentations 3, 19 through 40. Um there's a lot of good little gems in there, honestly, if you, if you, you know, have the ear to hear them. Um, you know, some of the verses that stood out to me, let's see. How about this one? about, uh, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because, um, uh, of thy faithfulness. The Lord is good to them that wait on for him, to the soul that seeketh him. You know, I again, there's a lot of gems in there. So you guys can, again, when you're reading, or when you're going deeper, <laughs> and if you're reading the entire thing, then hopefully uh, whatever God wants you to know to stand out to you in the piece, <laughs> uh, you know, hopefully will stand out to you. Um, again, there's a lot of things that stood out to me. I think the things that, you know, reminded us to wait on God and um, seek him, turn again to him, those things like that. Um, 
And I guess it kind of reminded me to keep the faith. At the end of the day, like like I said earlier, um, and I don't think it's, it's going back on what I think, you know, God can do or what I think is going to happen today or whatever the case is. I mean, but it's just more so, again, about just have, putting that faith and trust in God that his will would be done, uh, regardless of how things look uh, and everything like that. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie, like, you know, making observations over the past few months and stuff like that, you do see things going in a certain direction and you're just like, eh, well, I guess it's just going to continue to go that, that direction. That's what's been happening. That's what it's going to do. Um but at the end of the day, God can do anything, you know, God can do miraculous things. I am an example. <laughs> My name is not miraculous, but I'm just saying, <laughs> uh, you know, God can do the miraculous. So even though things are looking like they're going a certain way right, right now, that doesn't mean it's going to go that way. Or, and that doesn't mean what we think is happening isn't happening or, or vice versa. Or what we, what isn't happening is what, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm saying, I apologize that I can't explain it in a better way right now. Um, but yeah, I just think just focusing on God, uh, allowing him to, you know, just praying that his will be done in this season, no matter what that looks like. And um, and understanding that if, if, the, if it is a negative way, right, if this is going a negative route to you, um, that at the end of the day, all things work together for the good. And I like to put in even those things that we don't understand. Um, those are things that that's what for me helps me, um, to, well, keep my mind on God as well as understand that, you know, at the end of the day, he got it under control. So, um, you know, on one hand, there's a lot that I think me personally, when I think about, I'm going to say it again, the, the kids and, and the whole human trafficking issue, the real pandemic, when I think about that side of things, like I really just would hope and pray that it's exposed. Like I think that's where my mind has been. Um, and so when it hasn't been exposed thus far, not to the place, not to the level that I think it should be. And let, let's just be clear, see, how I think it should be, right? Um, that's discouraging to see and hear. Um, because it's like, you know, man, we need to, you know, something needs to be done about this evil, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, you know, God is, God got it. Like what it, what it saying here? Uh, right here it says, for the Lord will not cast off forever. You see that? And right before that, the gentleman, um, it was talking about that he put his mouth to the dust uh, so there may be hope, and then he giveth his cheek to the man uh, to him that smiteth him. He is filled full with repro reproach. Then it and it wraps that up to say, for the Lord will not cast off forever. You know, so at the end of the day, you know, evil may seem like it is prevailing in this world, in your life, wherever, you know. But at the end of the day, um. Uh, you know, God is not going to allow these things to prevail forever. He's in control. And at the end of the day, um, you know, I I believe what his word says. You know, and the world the word says that, you know, the truth will be revealed. Things will come to the light. All these things. And so whether it happens today or a couple of days from now or next year or whenever it happens, um, you know, we just have to still give all that glory and honor to God and um, and understand that his will in, in ways is, is greater than ours, you know, and it's on his timing. Um, I shared a quote earlier today that was talking about that. I don't remember it fully right now, but it was talking about the timing of God and how um, you guys can scroll on Facebook if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, it's talking about God and his timing, you know, and so... Yeah, I might have a certain thing in my mind, like, oh, man, yes, it needs to happen right now. People need to know, like, X, Y, and Z, but who's to say? You know, I feel like at the end of the day, a lot of eyes has been opened to a lot of things. Um, there's a lot that has been revealed, especially over the past few months, um, 
you know, not only just the little old me, but I think like in general to many. And so, um, and if you're here in America, you know, there's a lot that's been revealed about our systems and, um, and everything like that, that should have you concerned, honestly. But I mean, you know, a lot of people, <laughs> we going to get on that Lord. Is that what we talk about today? <laughs> um, but you, you know, everybody has opinions about, you know, what they feel is going on. So, um, I just, I, you know, I pray that we hold on to our freedoms, you know, and our rights, you know, the rights that we have currently and, and everything like that. I pray that, you know, but these, but these are just my personal prayers and thoughts. Who knows? Maybe God don't want us to hold on to our freedoms. Maybe, maybe we've abused those freedoms and he wants to, you know, remove some of them from us. And, and you know, and well, cause even, <laughs> what, what's that verse say? Uh, I'm looking. He said, uh, who is he that saith and it cometh to pass when he, the Lord commandeth it not? <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. The one before that one says, uh, hold on. It says, wherefore doth uh, a living man complain uh, a man for the punishment of his sins? Like, yeah, they complain about the punishment of your sins. <laughs> but then you're not acknowledging that the sins is the reason why you're being punished. It's not funny. It's kind of sad, honestly. But I mean, that's how we are. I mean, that's why I laugh because I'm like, that's, that's so accurate. That's how we are. At the end of the day, we do all the wrong. We do whatever we want to do. And then you surprise when you get punished for that. Like, or when there's consequences to those actions. <laughs> but I mean, you know, uh, anyway. I digress. Let me share with you guys the Bible verse of today. It's Ephesians 6 and 18. It says, praying always with all prayer and supplication of the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. If the Lord's will. <laughs> Bye-bye. Ow! <laughs> What's up, you <laughs> Um, Yeah, man. Um, Look, look, it's D-Day. It's that day everybody been looking for. Um, One way or the other. Either way, right? People have been looking forward to this day. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of shared already, like, you know, what I hoped and desired for this day a little bit, you know, um, more so than the president. I just really hoped that, or hope we'll see <laughs> that, you know, in regards to like exposing these human traffickers, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I like, to get rid of some of this evil in the world. I mean, there's no way to get rid of all of it, I guess. And then even even so, when I read the Bible, and I know I was kind of talking a little bit about it yesterday before the phone fell, <laughs> but um, you know the whole thing about like the end times and stuff like that, and Re Revelation say, and the tribulation period, and all those things. Um, knowing that that stuff is still to come. So even if we do get another period of grace. It's like, how long is that going to last, you know, before um, this other stuff starts? So, I mean, you know, uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to trust God. I'm going to just continue to pray and, um, and trust God that, you know, this will be done in this season. And that whatever it is, I, I'm able to do the things that he has set for me to do. Um, you know, I pray we keep our freedoms, you know, uh, hold on to the little we got, um, things like that. But, um, you know, either way, we'll see. We'll see. Um, 
Yep, we shall see, as they say. <laughs> uh, but I'm good overall. Um, we'll see. I know I was praying earlier about should I stock up on stuff. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I just ask God to, if I if I need to do that, then give give me that inkling to do that today. <laughs> um, right now I don't feel that, but we'll see. I mean I don't know. Um. I hope I'm able to come back on tomorrow and, you know, continue to juice and do all that good stuff. Um, you know, like I said, you just hear so many different things, you know what I mean? And then, um, so honestly, yeah, you got to discern, you got to be able to discern between all the things that you can hear about stuff. And then again, let's not even get started on the media and the news and all that. Like, that's a whole... <laughs> Same thing, but a little bit different, um, and stuff too. So, yep, we will, we will see, we will see. Uh, but either way, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope, uh, you know, uh, hope that you all are praying that prayer as well, that God's will be done, not your will, not my will, not what I think, but not what you think, God. <laughs> Uh, well, that's what's going to happen anyway, but I'm just saying that will help you get peace of mind for you to pray that prayer and understand that God's will is going to be done regardless. Um, <laughs> the, look, that prayer is for you. The prayer, it's just it's like forgiveness. It's for you. Uh, all right, man. Well, until um, next time, um, I'll let you go. Let all y'all go. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.